I'm Essence Atkins and I am a black actress. Before I was married, I went through this dry spell. I didn't work for, I think it was 11 months and that was kind of the longest I'd gone in my career without working. And <laughs> my husband brought it up the other day because he said I was like a royal pain in the ass because I was basically stalking him. What are you doing? Can I help? Can I do something? <laughs> Just bored and frustrated. I got to this point where I really started feeling like, you know, maybe that was it. Next thing you know, I get this phone call like a week later and my um, agent says, Rick Alvarez called and they want to meet with you. And like, they want to meet with you about playing the role of the mom, Suzanne, on Are We There Yet? And then it was radio silence for a couple weeks. And then um, five days before I was getting married, I got the phone call that I got the job. And it was my first offer. So I literally went from almost hanging up my shoes to my first offer. Oh my god, you're totally going to have sex with him. Wow. Is that how my vagina looks to you? Like a push button, easy access type of vagina? No, 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 no. I can see it. It's in your aura. My aura? Yeah, and you have to, have to, have to document it. What? Okay, look. You can use it as energy for cause. Hennigan said as an actor, you have to document all of your experiences. Um, I think that'll be a really inappropriate story for class. I'm also not going to have sex with him. I can't believe after one story, you've jumped to this conclusion. He's got that it factor. It's in his aura. I'm gonna need you to stop saying aura. All right, shut up, shut up, please. Th sorry, I just shut up for now. All right, uh, just quickly, sorry about the room change. Uh, Sex Addicts Anonymous apparently needed the downstairs space. I know what they really need is annoyment. What that's gonna do for those slots, huh? Um, in about five seconds, I want a pair to come up here because it's character question time. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Who's gonna go first? You guys? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's, let's go. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's start with, uh, who are you? Um, we're an arranged married couple. We're originally from Barbados, now living in Miami. Our parents, they are friends. Mm -hmm. uh, my family comes from money, but hers doesn't. But my dad wants to do her dad a solid by arranging this marriage so that I can bring both into her family. Storyline from Aladdin, but I like it. Are you in love? Uh, she is, but uh, I am. Oh. And how does that make you feel? I'm alright with it. I just feel like anything worth having is worth fighting for. And love isn't uh, any different. It's profoundly put, Romeo. Okay, um, good. I'm good with that. Alright, uh, so you two go over to that piano and pull a scene from that ball. Just try to avoid the syringes. Joke. What do you got? It says Revolutionary Road. Excellent. Okay, right on behind it on the piano. Careful, it's an antique piano. Um, right behind it, you're going to find a scene. It's going to say Revolutionary Road on the top. All right, uh, it's going to have the basic place and premise of what you're doing, but uh, you're going to be using the characters that you came up with. All right? Yeah. Excellent. Who's next? Come on. We'll go next. Great, move your bones. So that'd be interesting. Uh, what, who are you? So, uh, we are uh, both married. You're both married? Yes, but not to each other. So To other people. To other people, but we're having an affair with each other. Sorry about that, I, I didn't have all my answers. Oh no, me. it's all good, I got you. But, yo, know, last Saturday I didn't tell you how dope those dance moves were. You and your girl was killing it. And also, I didn't get a chance to chop it up with you. I was running around the party and entertaining folks, you know? Are you being serious? Yeah, I mean, the footwork? Not since the seventh grade have I ever seen something like that. We've been practicing since seventh grade. Yeah, interesting. It sure looked like it. <laughs> what does it feel like when you're with each other in bed? Amazing. It's like fireworks on top of Independence Day on Don't top give me any of, of the bullshit analogies. I want to know physically what does it feel like. It feels like my penis is in her vagina. Got it. And what about you? Did, did you come up with anything or is he just pretty much laying out all the groundwork for you? 
Or are you just like coasting by? Uh, that. That? You need to fill in more details. So your assignment this week is to go home and have sex. Okay. So take a seat, because I'm bored. All right, uh... Right next to my gym. You're totally gonna have sex with him, I think. <laughs> All right, uh, then I guess we're up to, I'm ready to see your cinematic monologues. <laughs> Hit it. Uncle Lenny, me did see you come out of the house last week and teeth out all of mommy money. You is guilty. Nobody come in here and lie to we. What is this? We is a family. We have to stick together to get through the hardest of times and triumph into the, in, 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 in the atmosphere. We must not take this as a sign to stop. I'm pretty sure this is from the Lion King. To disband the family and everyone fling away and go them separate way. We must stay together. Own up to your guilt. Own up to your crime. Do not be a fraud. Don't be a fraud. She's really good. I don't know what is happening. My body changed up. My hips widen. My nose broad. My skin mush up. My ear get thick and nappy. Mommy, what me fit do? Help me. Me I reach out to you. That's it? All right, class dismissed. Get the fuck out. It was all six of them. I know. I know. I told him that. I was like, no, it's not going to happen. Oh, I have to go, darling. Okay, I'll text you later. Bye-bye. Corey, how are you? Let me take a look at you. <laughs> Long time. Let me look at you. Are you skinny? How much do you weigh? 120. Okay, you could stand maybe 10 more pounds off, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so have a seat. So tell me, how is everything? Everything is great. Mm -hmm. I am taking class with the renowned Tommy Hannigan. Oh, amazing. He's amazing. Mm -hmm. That should do very well for you. Yeah, you know, I really like it. Um, he's crazy, I will admit, mm -hmm. but, uh, but it's fun, and I really think that he'll help me improve. You're not a bad actress, Corey. You're just going through a bad streak right now. A bad streak? Well, you haven't booked anything for months, so... I, I, I know, but I... I didn't think it was a bad streak. Have you guys, have you gotten any feedback or? Yeah, but it's just, it's just personal opinions. It's not, it's just people's opinions. Can you tell me? Yes, but I want you to take this with a grain of salt. All right? Grain of salt? Mm-hmm. Okay. Marla Palma, your favorite uh, casting agent. She loves you, but she thinks you're a little bit short. Carla loved you, but her partner did not. And Becky Smith loves your face, hates your voice. Jim Silverstein hates your face, loves your voice. It's... What? These are just personal opinions, darling. These are personal opinions. They're not to be taken seriously. Look, the important thing to do is you just keep being you. Do you really think that? Yes. Stay the course. I am 50% positive that your big break is almost around the corner. Maybe? You should start pitching me a little differently. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not sure how you're pitching me now, but you could spice things up, you know? List off my skills. I can read. I can ride a bike. I can do a French accent. You know, I don't get a lot of calls uh, for a, a literate black French girl. That's not, you know, people aren't casting for that so much. But, uh, oh, oh, can you dance? Can you dance? Are we getting another one of these casting calls for the, uh, the hip-hop, stip, stompy, jumpy? Uh, they're casting for it really soon. Huh? I just need a chance, Sandy. You know, like, can you really try and convince somebody to give me a chance? Look, darling, you just keep doing, you just keep auditioning. I am so partially sure that your big break is around the corner. All right, now get out of here. I have work to do. Now be gone. I have auditions to book you for. Get out of here. Thank you. Bye-bye. Probability of happiness 
inclusive by leaps and bounds. I would like to know what's going through your mind. Does it still feel worth it every tear you cry? There's such a cacophony of, of outside influences and, and, you know, magazines and commercials and wrinkle cream and, you know, and your hair and, and your ass isn't big enough and, you know, this is the new look and you're the old look, you know, and if you allow yourself to go on, on this ride, it will literally be a roller coaster, one that you will probably want to run off of. Um, so you have to have something that anchors you. There you go, oh, giving them another chance. Hi guys, my name is Andrea Lewis and I am the creator of Black Actress and I want to say thank you all for your views and your likes and your comments and your overall support of the show. You can find more behind the scenes of the show on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Andrea Lewis channel and follow the series on Twitter and Instagram at BA Web Series and like us on Facebook. Thank you all once again so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. Bye.